Can you trick someone into falling in love? Love I can influence falling in love by Professor Nigel McLennan. What is the psychological love eye trick? It is the notion that by using your eyes in a certain way, you can make someone fall in love with you. If you have ever fallen in love with a movie star, you know that some exceptional people can act, that is, fake, in a way, to set your passions running. Is it wise to trick someone into falling in love with you, in real life? Is it ethical? Is it an act of emotional abuse? You decide after knowing this. It is a behavior pattern of con artists, sociopaths, and psychopaths. Note of caution. No ethical or reasonable person would seek to trick someone into thinking they were loved. People do not want to feel used and certainly don't want to feel tricked. If you want to find deep and lasting love, seeking to trick someone into thinking they are loved is not a good start. Love has ethics. Breach them at your peril. Assuming you are ethical and reasonable, you might want to know how and why do love eyes influence or play a part in falling in love. That might not be the right question. Maybe something comes first. Maybe we have love eyes after we have fallen in love, and they merely confirm our emotional state. Or, maybe, when we are genuinely interested in someone, we look at them with what are read as love eyes. Maybe, too, when we show interest, our eye-expressed interest is read as love eyes, and that alerts the other person to our emotional state towards them, which encourages, or at least invites, them to be interested in us. If interested, their eye statements then confirm for us that there is mutual interest, and the self-reinforcing cycle continues its journey towards love. People fall in love with people whom they think understand and appreciate them. The only way you can hope to understand anyone is by listening to them. Listening involves a lot more than using your ears. You can listen with your other senses too. We unconsciously listen with our noses, we smell and respond to pheromones. Much of our listening is conducted visually, by our eyes. We listen to body language, facial expressions, eye movements, where someone is focusing their attention, and so on. Effective listening is a whole mind and body experience, not just one of the eyes and ears. People want to feel listened to, validated, encouraged, supported, understood, and needed. By listening with your whole existence, you send many attractive signals, such as, I find you interesting, I value you, your thoughts and opinions matter to me, you are the most important person in the world, I find you attractive. Is that how love eye works? Yes, when you give compassionate eye contact, looking into and around someone's eyes while talking, it sends the above signals. What effect do those signals have, if they are welcome? Listening to people gives them the chance to express themselves fully. Expression, sought and well received, builds trust. Building trust leads to better understanding. Enhanced understanding leads to respect and appreciation. All are on a trajectory towards love, or at least mutual liking and admiration. How does that work? Since we can't even define consciousness or understand how one consciousness can impact another through communication, it will be a long time before we can give an accurate answer to that question. For now, we have to rely on observations to explain what is going on. Here are some near-universal observations to develop our understanding. We listen to people who listen to us. We seek to understand people who seek to understand us. We trust people we understand, and who trust and understand us. We respect and appreciate people who respect and appreciate us. By starting the listening cycle, we make reciprocation possible, and that makes mutual appreciation and more possible. If love eyes is really about sending the signals of listening, what do people who fall in love listen for? 
no one thing in particular, but understanding in total. What are the person's interests? What are their hobbies? What are their passions? What are their opinions, thoughts, values, beliefs, likes and dislikes? When people feel that someone is really listening to them, really trying to understand, they tend to start opening up. When their emotionally risky self-disclosure is met with rewarding feedback, they tend to open up even more. As you will have no doubt experienced, most people are terrible listeners. When we stumble across an excellent listener, that person really stands out by virtue of their rarity. Excellent listeners are rewarding listeners. They make it easy and safe for us to talk. They emotionally reward us for talking. As a result, they are able to form rapport faster and deeper than other people. How? By making good eye contact, as described before. By asking pick-up-and-carry-on questions. When we raise a topic, the rewarding listener picks it up and asks questions to encourage us to carry on with the topic. Most of us find that rewarding. It tells us that they are listening and trying to understand. By giving us appropriate praise, when they spot something they genuinely appreciate about us, or in what we express, and they show their appreciation, we feel rewarded. This is where the love eye trick seems to have originated. Presumably some manipulative people thought by the use of the eyes alone it is possible to make someone fall in love. Let's test that theory. If someone gives you love eyes, but doesn't seem to follow what you are saying, will you be impressed? No. If someone follows what you are saying while giving you love eye, but doesn't ask you any questions, will you be impressed? No. If someone follows what you are saying while giving you love eye, asks questions about what you are saying, and then changes the subject after each time you have answered, will you be impressed? No. Why? Because it takes a lot more than love eye to form rapport, and much more than that to fall in love. Does love eye work on its own? Very unlikely. Can good and appreciative eye contact help with rapport formation? Yes, most definitely.